Hi guys, welcome to Tutor's Funny Channel. Let's continue our tutorial. Now, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to calculate the balance. So, double click on the pay invoice here. This one, double click on this button here. This is the uh, button uh, code. So, here I'm going to write the code here is first, I'm going to get the these two text boxes names first, right? Uh, first one will be uh, this one will be sub this one will be pay so we have what I am going to do here I am going to create the integer variable and assign them here int uh, here I am going to write as uh, pay equal inti integer sorry integer dot integer dot pass integer dot pass int here I am going to write the text box name correctly pay dot get text first text box now the text box is total subtotal so we have to write uh, subtotal is up right. now what I am going to do here is here we have to write this uh, we have to int bell balance equal we have to create the variable balance bell here we have to pay amount here sub total right we have to calculate the balance in this variable okay from pay and uh, subtotal here we have to put this uh, symbol to store the balance on this variable now we have to set into this text box bell text box txt bell dot set text set text here we have to write as a string dot value of bell okay you have to write like this okay you have to write like this okay if you want to write this one also you have to write string value of you can write like instead of writing like this you have to write like this okay this is the same thing you have to write here as well both are same both are same both are working here string value of otherwise you can write integer to string method you have to convert the uh, total here okay balance right now let's execute the Korean C here it's working the click add button it added added now I'm going to pay the bill here like this the bill will pay if you click pay invoice here here it, the balance should be display here right that balance should be display here in this text box right I hope you guys you understood so far now let's go to the uh, let, let's go to the database table I have created two tables one is a uh, sales table another one is a sales product table now after the process the sales process completed the uh, all the sales pro process completed if you click pay invoice button the balance should be display and and at the same time record is saved on the database table the, these two tables data should st uh, save okay the sales table and sales product table right sales table consists of these following columns date uh, subtotal and pay and balance this stuff right sales product table consists of these columns product code price code, quantity and total okay these two tables should should very important uh, while you doing the inventory control because in order to make this uh, table for so we are uh, getting the final report so that we need these two tables right okay so let's okay let's go here we have to make another method here but we have to write private method and the private method we have to write here private void we have to write that uh, sales 
time and other fields. Right. Here we have write as first time going to write the date, current date. So we have the free defined uh, function in uh, Java date time formatter for matter formatter. We have to create the object as here D something D D something F I create the object but the object I create just like DTF right here D date time footer dot of pattern your pattern you have to write the pattern here how the pattern it should work here I need like this pattern year first uh, year should display after that month should be display month should be display double M we have to write like this the same thing I have to write like, uh, like this this one should be simple this one should be month should be capital this one should be simple right you have to write like this this is the pattern you have to write okay date so this, this is a year month and date right after that we have to write another uh, local date time date time now equal this local date and time local date and time dot now now here we have to remove them here we have to close right now here we have to write a string date equal we have to call this function d this one dot format now right we have to call this one. right now the current date should be stored in this variable date right so in this variable right now what i'm going to do is here now this one if you want to check whether the thing is uh, working or fine you have to put here is uh, what j option fan you can check here right so what i'm going to do is uh, after that i'm going to assign this text box into the relevant variable these text boxes uh, subtotal pay and balance these text boxes so we already know the name as well subtotal we Now let's add it here. First string, create the variable string, sub dot, sub dot equal txt sub dot get text. You have to call the get text and get the text. After that, again, I'm going to write another string from string variable and you have to write as a uh, pay. You have to get txt pay. Right. Again, you have to write as a balance. B A L. You have to write as a txt bal. Right. That's the thing we have to write. Right. Now we have to these text boxes I equal to relevant variable look like this. After that, what I am going to do is I am going to create a class this one class and store the value uh, I'm going to insert the value so I go to the project here this project we let's go to the insert query so we no need to write again by again we just copy them this insert query we just copy them we no need to write again by again it take too much tough time to complete it so we have to write like this right. now we have to copy them. right now it asks to do the things of Mm, error we just import the try and catch as well first now you have to control x to cut off and paste inside the try catch block try catch try block after that here 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 also you have to insert the pst mean prepare statement object now what i'm going to do is here i go above i'm going to create the prepare statement as well go above I'm going to create the prepare statement I here insert this prepare statement object I created as insert and also it copy this one. So I'm going to paste it here. Insert prepare statement object I created as insert. Right, okay. 
right now here I'm going to what is the thing I'm going to change it as here I'm going to change it as a sales table the so sales ta sales table what is the table you can, if you have any doubt you can check the so sales table so table name is sales sales table what are the columns available ID will be auto increment date subtotal pay there are, there, there are four columns available you have to write the name correctly here date subtotal comma pay comma balance write like this right that's the thing you have to write and uh, what is there uh, right here you have to import the catch block as well that will be there uh, you have to import the catch block here the SQL statement that will be there right now it there goes away now you have to set into the relevant text boxes the subtotal first one will the date date here you have to create the date variable here this all the date uh, pattern store here current date date this variable you have to call here first one variable a is the date second one should be sub dot third one should be pay fourth one should be back that's the stuff you have to do now here I no need this one Japan we no need now what I'm going to do is here after that I need to get the last insert ID of this okay this last insert ID we have to get this auto increment this ID we have to get uh, get as a last insert ID for here so how to generate the last insert ID in Java you have to write it as result you have to uh, write the result set object here here result set result set and generated key you have to write a generate key generate key generate key 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 result I create the object as result it's easy for understand if you write like this you can give any name here I generated key result I give here for the easy so insert insert the prepare statement dot get 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 generated generated key this function you have to call this how you can get the last insert id okay uh, when you add two uh, two data at same time you have to get this last insert id this is the professional way to uh, do the inventory control okay last insert id you must get it insert large get large generated keys after that you have to check if generated key result here after this insert successfully last insert id will be created and uh, store in this uh, generated key uh, object here i have to check uh, dot next <coughs> dot next here you have to check I have to create the last insert ID variable last insert ID the variable equal zero right we have right equal key generated result key generated result this one mm, key generated result this one dot sorry Here key generated result. Here dot mm, get int get int one. This one should be one. We have to put one. Right. Now what is the error of this line? Okay, we have to to complete the statement now let's check whether it's working or not 
where we have to check with the last insert ID is successfully display or not. J option pan dot show message show message dialog so, sorry show message not a confirm dialog show message dialog dot show message dialog here we have to write this keyword here we have to check whether the last insert id is correct or not we have to put here right now here we are going to add the record to this whether sorry we have to put the function here this function we have to call here control c to copy it's calling into here this when you click pay button you have to call here this only this one you check whether it's working or fine Here now the no value specified for parameter 4 so go here ah here here the uh, pay also 3 I put the balance also 4 foot that's the other again one of the things I have to do I forgot to do here the last get the last insert ID so here what I'm going to do is here I'm going to write the string string and uh, variable and, uh, and create the variable string variable query here I have to put this all the code into control X to cut and put here this code put here and call right. now what I'm going to do is here I get this query uh, variable and put into the this parameter and I have to generate the key so comma I have to write another statement here state uh, statement dot return generate keys you have to call these methods to generate the key auto generate key. you have to call them so it, it will be work okay you have to write this one okay right that's the only thing we have to do then only the key will be generated you have to call this one this function right now let's check whether it's working or not uh, now let's close the program I'm going to run again now here i'm going to type this one sorry barcode is not there so three or three so you have to do this one enter as 3 add right now this will be the subtotal i'm going to pay the amount as like this now click pay invoice here last insert id will be generated to go here database you just close here to okay this one i uh, i check it whether it's working or not that's why it put one now here it's cars inside ID, ID will be generated to the two will be generated here okay that's why that is the thing is class inside ID here and I last inside ID I am here I am calling here this function so it does inside ID will be displayed right glass inside ID will be working fine right you must write these things okay when you get the last inside ID you have to call like this write the <coughs> one variable and pass into the query and after that this query variable you have to pass into the prepare statement and write the query like this right now after that i'm going to write another insert query for i'm going to insert this table this table values right this table value and store in this table which table product sales product table uh, that stuff i'm going to teach in my next tutorial because my uh, uh, video is told so, so long uh, Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.